peace and love zero 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 on the clock sending you all positive energy high vibes success on your entrepreneurship all love all positivity make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel you hit the like button and you leave me any comments or questions in my description below today i'm going to be speaking about the sun energy of four always be familiar when we're dealing with our sun energy we're dealing with the energy of our personality okay also known to be our sun number our personality or our attitude number same thing <laughs> if you hold the energy of four as you look at the structure of four it's shaped like a box okay so you are an individual that love to organize your life okay you love to organize your world you are good at creating things with your hands you are connected with the master builder the architect energy as well okay you have the energy of saturn and also capricorn these individuals hold the energy of being balanced, okay? They love to be on their toes, standing on those two feet, grounded, okay? Connected with the earth energy, okay? They are serious. They are dedicated. They are financially stable, they are great with money. They are great investors. Okay. Very professional individuals. Um, they're very analytical. They tapped into the energy of Virgo. I always say Virgos are analytical because they like to make sure everything is calculated down to the T, like a calculator. Okay. So you hold that energy of Virgo okay you are neat you love to dress neat like your physical appearance is going to be eye appealing also business oriented boss status <laughs> very clean very serious look okay very professional look you are unique you like to get the job done you have that scientific mind okay you are peaceful you chill and you lay back you solid you are disciplined you are trustworthy okay you are dependable people come to you for advice they look up to you as a leader because you're always on your stuff <laughs> okay you have great morals you are intuitive um, you're very calm, laid back, chill individual. You have high standards you set about yourself. And once you start something, you like to make sure it's finished, it's complete, okay? And you make sure it's right. <laughs> uh, perfectionist, okay? Um, you're good with thought as well. So, when we think of the Capricorn energy, Saturn energy, you assess that fire within you, okay? And you stop procrastination. You operate out of that masculine energy. When we're dealing with masculine energy, we're dealing with master builder, stopping procrastination, lighting that fire we have within us, moving forward towards the goal, okay? building a strong foundation you're going to hold the energy where you pass down financial freedom okay to your family for generations okay because you have that great intellect where you want to leave something behind okay to be able to help your family be balanced be prosperous and be financially free okay you hold that great energy you're also going to build something very beautiful and it's going to just be beautiful and set up on 
your morals, your strengths, your strong mind, and your will, your principles, okay? So you're going to love that beautiful empire that you build, and it's going to be something that's going to take hard work, dedication, and drive, okay? Um, you also hold the energy once you are setting your ways, you setting those principles, you don't like to step outside your comfort zone, okay? So you like to really like stick to routine. You hold heavy energy of earth signs because Taurus energy holds that energy where they do not like to do anything new. They like to stick to routine, very routine, very balanced, analytical, that's cool. But we always wanna be able to open up to new things, to be able to create beautiful things, okay? In order to explore different aspects of ourselves, also the world, fat, fat, fat was just on the clock, perceive a higher level of consciousness. It helps us to ascend once we learn new things and we add on new tasks to our journey as well. Okay, um, you like for things to be perfect, so you like to kind of like wait and say, This is not the right time, I'm going to wait till it's perfect. But you had to have the understanding to surrender and just know that every time it's perfect, go ahead and explore. Okay, live in a state of having that non resistant energy and to let everything flow in divine time and divine nature and let go of control. Okay, because you connected with controlling everything and making sure everything is right, that is part of your lows. And once you do, you just have to be of balance and just release being in control, surrender and open up for new things to be able to come in and to flow in like the wind. Everything works in its natural flow with the universe and we don't have to force anything and we don't always have to be in control of everything because once we perceive a higher level of consciousness, we have the understanding that we cannot control everything, but we basically have to go with the highs and the low and go with the currents of the waves and the water and be able to still persevere through the challenging moments and to release and let go <laughs> once we surrender and we let go it puts us in perfect alignment with the natural laws of the universe okay and once we are in that perfect alignment we receive our manifestations we operate it out of our heart space of love and once we do that it just helps us to embody that self-love that confidence that great power that being stoic and everything works in our favor because we're in perfect alignment of doing everything that we are brought forth to do here in this world okay so when you have the energy of strong will strong power professional neat um great advisor great inventor builder great with finances you like just lucky with money and you a great saver you always going to have that energy of that boss energy to be a go-getter <laughs> you're going to know how to keep money and to manage money okay and you're going to invest in great things like i said you're going to pass that generational wealth down to your family bloodline and they're going to be happy for that okay very disciplined very structured very trustworthy individuals look up to you and automatically gravitate towards you from the great knowledge and the architect the building skills that you have and that body of knowledge of intuitive and also teacher okay always be for me with that very high standards and there's nothing wrong with that so you want to be able to take that builder that structure that drive that passion very stoic energy serious energy and express it outwards so others can learn from you others can connect with that masculine energy that architect that builder okay connecting with building out of logic that's all to deal with that masculine energy and you're all about business serious person and people love you for the character that you have okay because 
we all need that energy of that four of that master builder <laughs> once we do it helps us to be able to stop move procrastinate procrastination out the way excuse me and just start creating creating things that we love to do from the heart space so we all need to embody some of your energy of this four sun sign 21 21 on the clock um i love you all i'm sending you all positive energy high vibes success on your entrepreneurship that's all for sun number four i love you all and i will be back with more peace and love